Okay, uh, my YouTube friends here. I'm going to switch out this hard drive. I said I would make another video for how to switch out the hard drive. Um, right here is the front part of the computer that I had that you have to take off. Um, depending on the computer, it doesn't, you know, it depends. Um, and this is the inside. Remember the last time I put the video card in and the sticks of RAM, which I ordered more RAM for this. I have to wait for it to come in. I got it off of eBay. There's your power supply, and there's where your CD-ROMs and your disk drives will go. And right here is your hard drive. Um, these are your connectors. These are your. This is your IDE, which is um, connects it to the motherboard. This here down here is your power. And once I get this out here, I'll show you. These have to come undone. And you got your power. Pop that out. And this thing here you pull. Actually, there's two little clips on here. You gotta squeeze down and it slides out. And like I said, this is depends on the computer. Some of these, I know with some of the Dells I've worked on, um, they have little green slide things on the side here that screw in on the side here. Um, and Dells, I really don't particularly care for Dells. I think they're personally, I think they're garbage. But that's just me. Um, this one here is an IDE hard drive and it's, I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's 40 gigabyte, which is basically nothing to today's standards. Um, right here, that's where your IDE connector goes. And this here, I don't know if you can tell from my finger in the way, but that there is the spot where you can select the hard drive, what you want it to select it to. And it's usually, the diagram is usually on the front of the hard drive, and this one's like right here. Um, one's like cable select, the other one is a slave drive, the other one is multiple drives, you know, and then your master, of course, which that's what this is going to be. I got another hard drive over here in my stand on a couple of discs here. This actually is the hard drive I'm going to be putting in it. Um, this one is a lot larger. It's 120 gigabyte. Um, if you can tell, that's right there. Tells you how. Usually tells you everything about the hard drive on the front of it. Um, and this here just pops off because I've played with this for a second before I made the video, so I knew if this came off or not, or I had to screw it, so I knew how to get this. You know, if I knew to get the screwdriver out and. All that good jazz. So, and this, like, this is a screw hole right there, screw hole right there. These, well, this particular computer, these little screws right here, you gotta go in those little holes. I try to make this as simple as possible for people out there that really aren't, you know, they're kind of nervous about doing this kind of stuff. I mean, really, it's not that difficult. Um, I've taught myself, like I said in my previous video. Okay, let's make sure I have these lined up with the holes here. side out. Just like that one went in. And like I said guys too, I do have a bunch of extra computer parts like keyboards, mouses, um, you name it, I've probably got it. Um, granted they're probably all older stuff because I've taken them out of other computers. 
Um, and I like to try to sell them, and I probably I'll make a really good deal because I just want rid of them. I got just got too much junk laying around here, and my wife wants me to get rid of a lot of this stuff. So, but like I said, a lot of computers it's different on a lot of computers. Like some of the HPs I've worked on, they're basically right on the back of this. Um, the other computer that I have, which is a Compaq. It has the hard drive underneath the disk drive, like right into here. I don't know if you can see my finger, but it has it like right there. And these here, these drives here, these are not hard to replace at all. Most, some of them have screws, but this one just has a slider, but I'm not going to be changing that. I'm just going to leave that one in there because this computer is going to be for my daughter. I'm just putting stuff on it for her. So it's basic stuff. Um, and this here have to line her up slides right in there and it clicks see but that's the one thing with computers you have to listen to the click so if you hear the click you know you got it into place and with these you just reconnect your connectors take I'm going to take this out again real quick because I want to show you how to select your drive it does little pieces Let's see if I can get this out without a screwdriver I like a screwdriver that time now with these pieces this little black piece I just put down right here that little one's moving got to watch those because they're so tiny that you can lose them and pretending to the hard drive you're using you're, you might need them um, this particular one actually for this particular one I don't need that thing see some hard drives you don't need them and this one here, you don't need it. Clicks in place. I can't get in there to get this pulled through. There we go. I'm trying to get this in here so you guys can see it as well as you can with of my fingers and stuff being in the way, but some of these things are tight quarters. And after I'm done with all of this, I'm going to go ahead and load up the software and stuff, but I'm, I'm not going to show that in this video. Because Putting the software, like the like the um, operating system and stuff on it, can take some time depending on 
how things go. But that's pretty much about it. I mean, that's all you pretty much do with the hard drive. And then just everything's connected back up. Just slide her back into place. And right in there. So, uh, any other, any questions or anything? Give me a comment, and I'll be sure to respond to them. And, and all that good jazz. So, uh, anyway, uh, have a good evening, and thanks for watching.